Good morning. Start of day 12. Made it through the night with no major incidents other than it got a little chilly. Woke up probably about 4.30 and way too early and too cold to get out of my bag. So I stayed in there and shivered for about another hour or so. Got about 5.30 and I think it's right now it's just 6 o'clock and I'm getting ready to get underway. My first goal for today, get up the golden staircase. It's early. The sun's not over the crest so I think I should uh, have good weather for it. So let's get this day underway. Uh, the Achilles is feeling okay, a little tight still, but not anything like yesterday, at least at this moment. We'll see what happens. Alright, I think I'm through most of the staircase. That's kind of the good news. Bad news, legs still hurting. Also, my battery's draining, so I'm going to have to be real conservative on pictures and videos. The worst part of this whole thing, it's not the pain, it's not the ups, it's not the down, it's worrying about my son, Cade. I know he's in a very capable hand with grandma, grandpa, mama, but if something happens to him while I'm out here, I think I'll be crushed. So I think about that halfway up and really got me a little panicked and choked up and I'm trying to put it behind my mind because I know he's in good hands, but it really, uh, it's the hardest part being away from him and worrying about him. I love him so much. Love you, buddy. I'm about <clears throat> halfway between lower and upper health. It's like I just looked up to my left. Look at these rocks. Look at that angle. They're just sitting there, looking like they can come down any second. It's amazing, they're being held up there. Hope they wait at least another hour to come down for me. All right, I'm above Upper Palisade now. And I believe, believe, that is Mather Pass. I'm gonna go up here a little bit farther and uh, find some water, rest for 45 minutes an hour, and then go ahead and tackle it. Wow, beautiful upper basin here. All right, it's 11.15. I'm getting ready to do the push up to Mather. Should be fun. of Mather Pass, 12-1. Took me about an hour and a half to make it up here from uh, that water spot rest, so not too bad. Wind just picked up just a little bit, so I might hang around, break a little bit, then head on down. Feeling pretty good though. Legs held up good that time. Here's looking up back towards Mather Pass from the opposite side. Trails were pretty good, steep switchbacks or close together switchbacks. It'll take me straight ahead and then down that way. I've been coming down the summit of the Mather an oh, hour and a half or so and been pushing really hard. Lots of uh, thoughts going through my head. I'm really worried about Cade. I don't know why. Just because I haven't talked to him for a long time. and it's really weighing on my nerve and psyche today. So I finally got to the point where I just had to stop because I'm tired physically and emotionally today and I don't think I have much more much longer to go to camp and I'll get there in a little bit but kind of a low day emotionally good day physically this afternoon at least
All right, start of day 13, heading out of camp. I don't know, 6.15, heading up towards uh, Pinchot Pass this morning, about five miles away. Hopefully it goes good today as well. Well, the trail's not playing around this morning, about 150 yards out of camp. Uh, I started climbing up this, to this first bench, and I've been climbing for about 40 minutes now, and looks like I got a lot more, so. Suck it up today and start climbing. I just made it up to Lake Marjorie about an hour and a half. My first uh, kind of step today, I think it's about halfway up to the pass. So, so real pretty area. And the pass is up through there somewhere. Left Lake Marjorie about 8 o'clock and I'm heading up the Pincho Pass, which I think is right up there. So, two miles, just about 1,000 feet, a little over 1,000 feet of elevation gain. Hopefully, not too bad. Alright, I was mistaken. That last little lake was not Lake Marjorie. This is actually Lake Marjorie here. place to spend the night. All right, it's 9.15 and I made it up to the top of Pincho Pass, so an hour and 15 from uh, Lake Marjorie and about 3.15 from camp, so pretty good. Lake's feeling a little better, so it's still tight, but uh, a little better. Uh, but we're going to be up here, so I'm going to stay too long to try to get a signal and then uh, head on down. over here to see where we where Rather was yesterday. Give you a 360 degree view of the uh, pass here. So I've pretty much made it down into the valley here and it looks like we're going to take kind of a sweeping right hand turn and head off into this direction somewhere. Breezy today if you can probably tell. Alright I just took my first fall of the trail right here a little ways past the Sawmill Pass. Luckily I didn't fall on the horse shit though. This descent off uh, Pincho Pass is uh, never ending. We've been descending now for a couple hours and I got a little more to go. And then when I get to the bottom, guess what? I get to start heading up again. I'm tired today, I'm pushing and I hope I don't push too hard today. I'm trying to set myself up good for Glen tomorrow just in case all this wind and clouds bring in some weather we can get over it and uh, Forrester the next day, so. Whew. Who said hiking wasn't work? Not me. All right, I finally made the bottom of the valley, I think. I think we go to the cool Woods Creek Bridge now, but I'm trying to keep up with James and Z and another girl, so they're moving fast. I'm gonna move this fast. All right, made it to another famous landmark, the Woods Creek Bridge, one at a time, so we're gonna go up there. Z and James are up there now. Z just found a hole.
Alright, so we're at the Woods Creek Bridge, and as it says, one person at a time at a bridge. But I'll tell you what, if you sit right here on my shoulder with me, don't wiggle, you can come with me. You ready? Here we go. James and Z said there are planks missing. Oh yeah. Don't look down. Keep going. Keep going. Oh shit. Don't look down. Keep going. My wife would hate this. <clears throat> Stay light on the shoulder. There we go. Oh, it's a galloping Gertie. All you physics types know what I'm talking about. Ah, sorry. Yes. Gallop and Gertie. Get a nice residence going there. Alright, currently I'm on the James and Z train trying just to hang on. Those guys are fast hikers, but they're pulling me along, so I'll try to stay with them as long as I can, make some miles today. Uh, still on the climb up from the Wood Creek Bridge. James and Z are a little behind me. They may have rested a little bit. Z was tired, so they may have taken a breather. I want to get up here. There's a looks like a head wall up there or something. Get on top of that and take my break. Hi there, I'm at the uh, Baxter Pass and turn off and Dollar Lake is right over there. Just filled up on some water, relaxing a little bit. James and Z still haven't showed up. I imagine Z did a little power nap. But uh, I think we got about two more miles to the race, so uh, I think I can do it. Big day, probably 15 miles for me, which is a pretty big day. I haven't done one of those for a while. But uh, right now I'm feeling pretty good. Hoping once they get done with their nap, they're not super energized and we can't keep up with them. So we'll hang out here just a little bit, then I'll probably plod along, move on down the trail, let them catch up to me. It's a good day. Mentally, I'm having a very good day, not like yesterday. So I'm really happy about that. Talk to you in just a little bit. Happy day, I think I'm approaching Lower Ray Lake right there. Jeez, I never thought I could make it. James and Z, I know you're still behind me guys, but thank you, without you two, there's no way I would have made it today, pushed on today, so hopefully I can get up here in the middle and find this a camp spot. Get all reserved for us, okay? Here's Middle Ray. All right, I made it finally, Middle Ray Lakes. Lake. Right down there in this little section here, I don't know if you can see it. Plenty of trout rising. Signal signs of Z and James, I don't know if to go on or wait or what. No, so it's such a beautiful spot. Probably one of my favorites so far, actually, on the JMT. It's absolutely gorgeous. Peaceful, quiet. You almost think one should have deep contemplative thoughts. What am I thinking? Absolutely nothing. It was a long day hiking. 12 hours for me. Um, I'll check the mile. I think it's 15, but 
I'm thinking nothing. Just enjoying the moment. And that's darn good enough. Good morning. I forgot to do my uh, day 13 summary last night, so I'll do it this morning. Uh, good day hiking. In almost 18 miles yesterday. We started out at the uh, South Fork Kings Crossing, and from there we had a climb up to Pincho Pass 2 phase climb. First one we got about a thousand miles up to a thousand miles, about a thousand foot gain up to Lake Marjorie. And we plateaued for a little bit. Beautiful little lake up there. I actually stopped at a small lake just before it, had some snacks, had some water and continued on. And then it uh, probably took about two hours to do that. And then uh, about an hour and a half to climb up to the pass itself. So it was really cool. Mount Pincho Pass was pretty up top there. Once we got up top, it started the downhill from hell. It was like six, seven miles of downhill. It wasn't steep, but it was just continuous. Dropped down on the backside of Pincho through some switchbacks and to another long downhill kind of through this valley basin area. It's dead ends and we kind of took a right hand turn and headed west down along Wood Creek. And that reminded me a lot of the San Joaquin River area where you're just going right along the river. But that dropped good long distance, oh, probably, I you know, half mile from the end of that, I ran into uh, James Z taking a break, so I hooked up with them and tried to hang on to the back of their train as they were cruising down until we got to a big landmark, which was Wood Creek, Woods Creek Suspension Bridge, um, which is really cool. Um, it's a one person at a time bridge, so I walked over that, swaying back and forth and up and down. That was really cool. I had to watch out for some missing planks. I tried to videotape it as it went over, so it was added a little more adventure to it. And then from there, we had to climb up to our camp. James Z said a middle ray, and I said I'd try to stick with him, so I kind of hung on their heels the best I could, and we made it up here in a couple hours. That was another big climb, I'd say close to 2,000 feet or so. Um, it was good. I did well up here, and we got up here and jumped in the lake, and got some of the trail grime off and had a nice evening and uh, so overall it was a really good day. I had a good day mentally and it uh, started obsessing about things like yesterday so uh, it was really good. So we'll see what today breaks. We'll get a little bit of clouds forming over the past area. Hopefully that's not going to be anything. 